paperwork? What you doing? You got people's paperwork? You got paperwork? It's a lot more. We're gonna wait till some people get on the on the platform. Today's topic is the importance of completing your Moorish American Consulate grid. Islam, Islam, Islam. As well as all of the beautiful um, changes to the Moorish American Consulate website. All the upgrades that are going don't going on and has been going on for the past couple of days or at least the past week as well as um, what's coming down the pipeline for the Moorish American Consulate Judiciary Team in regards to each and every Moorish American National. So I'm going to let uh, a few people get on the, the call. Islam, make sure you share this uh, Facebook Live to all of the Moors so, so enough people can get on this Facebook Live platform and um, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hmm. I was about to say it on. I was about to say it on y'all. I was. I'm so. I'm not going. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be great today, and I'm not going to say things out loud. I'm not going to say things out loud. It's loud. This is a beautiful Tuesday. Beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. Um, we're gonna wait for some people to get on. Look at this. Definitely gotta go to that store and get some supplies for Vivi. Yes. Get her some paint supplies. So she can have them when I can when I bring them back down. Islam Morris. Islam, Islam, Islam. Pax et Tamor. Today's topic is the importance of getting your grid done. So it would be great to talk about the grid. To actually have the grid to talk about. Do we have a copy of the grid? So how you got all those books and all that stuff you ain't got no grids? That's right, get on. That, how you gonna say the importance of completing your grid and you ain't got no grids to pass out? <laughs> right. Right, right, right. It's not. It's not. Where we at earlier? Huh? Where we were at earlier. Truth. Definitely. Great, great outcomes at the what? Where was you at today? Tribunal. Really? Is that where you were? I was at the tribunal. She owes me. Well, no, you don't owe me anything because you. Got me two drinks. Yeah, yeah, and a bataleo. You're gonna eat that bataleo, bataleo. I like saying bataleo. I feel, I feel, what do you call it? Caribbean when I say bataleo. I don't know what a bataleo is. They look like beef patties. They make them beef patties. That's what they look like. But they bataleo. I like saying bataleo. I'm gonna keep saying bataleo because that is just a pretty way of saying. It. Islam Emperor shared life on the website too. Thank you. Pack such some more. Today is Tuesday, and so much work to get done tonight, tomorrow. So much work. I feel like I got nothing done. Media. Huh? What are you talking about, me media? Um, Mujahad. Mujahad? Is it Mujahad? Mujahad? What do you uh, clarify what you talk about when you say media? I don't know what that means. Sometimes y'all just be talking and y'all think I know what y'all are talking about. I'm like sad. So when, when something goes in, it has to compute or it's coming back out. Like, I don't know what you were talking about. Islam. Anyway, um, really, I ain't got no grids. You ain't got no grids either? You're supposed to be printing the grids out with your package. No, I'm not. Yeah, huh? You're supposed to be downloading that grid off that new Yes, they are. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I can't. Oh, wait a minute. I'll go on it on my phone. That's cool. I'll go on it on my phone. <laughs> No worries, no problems. We all good here. We all good here. Oh, you you can I can I charge you a, a a note for doing it for writing it too, texting it? No. I can't. No. Why? Why? Right. Right. We got we got to sharpen each other's blade. It's Maja, it's not for educational purchase uh, per, uh, purposes. It's for erudite lessons and degrees. We use erudite lessons and degrees. We don't talk about um, education because education is for who? 
somebody did a little etymology on what the word education really, really means. Because it doesn't mean what you think it means. But I'm going to share it now, too, so people can get on. What the hell? <clears throat> they did some crazy stuff. That's all right. I'm going to go find mine. I'm going to go to my page and find it. And then it'll let me share it appropriately. They done changed some stuff again. Y'all keep changing stuff on Facebook, pissing me off. They make, they make, before I could just go run down, run down a list. So give me a minute. I'm trying to get acclimated. And then central. There's two central pages. I am the the more Moorish American Muslim that shows up there that next day. <laughs> Islam Tariq training animals. Thank you. Education is the training of animals. The etymology on education is the training on 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 um animals. So we never want to. Uh, say educational purposes, it's erudite lessons and degrees. Erudite lessons and degrees. Erudite lessons and degrees. Islam? Islam. Islam. So, we're talking about a lot of stuff. Facebook do be tripping. I'm going to... I'm going to the Moorish American Concept website. Please visit often as if you are visiting Facebook, www.moorishamericanconsulate.org. www.moorishamericanconsulate.org. Because it, and, and if somebody can please put that uh, link into the um, description, the comment section for the website, I would definitely appreciate it as well. Um, and I'm going to pull it up now, the website. I already had it pulled up. Oops. The Sharifian, the Sharifian Peace Officer um, T-shirts are now in a downloadable pre-order form on the website as well for the Sharifian Peace Officers T-shirts. So you can go to the websites to order those. There are several forms that are on the website. Several forms that are on the website in regards to um, the first splash page. So I'm going to go to the first splash page. Oops of the website, which is the Moorish American Consulate website. There's three um, buttons at the top. The first one, if you click nationality is the order of the day, and you click on there to declare your nationality, it's going to jump you to the page on declaring your nationality and the supporting documents that you need to get that done. Um, so if you click on to that link, it's going to take you right down, proclaim your nationality. There's a lot of information to read that is very, very essential for completing the, the, the uh, lawful uh, documents, documents um, accurately and to do it and have your documents present you. Like when people see your documents, that is a reflection on the individual who created and established them. So take your time. If you want to print them out, print them out and write them in. But take your time when you're writing them and be um, legible so we can read it. Because these are a reflection of you. Don't, I mean, if you want to print them on a um, letter, you can. But we, we prefer it to be on legal size uh, documentation and paper. Islam. And then if you scroll down, once you click the declare page, you have three, you have five documents, downloadable documents. You have the instructions, you have the judicial proclamation, the name declaration, the order, the info sheet, as well as the order form for the national identification cards. You have that all on the to proclaim your nationality documents, Islam. So the uh, IZEAL has made it so easy, has made it so easy for you to uh, get the essential documents that you need. There's no necessarily reason to um, go to the file section in the, the Facebook group for these documents because they're now located on the website. I might just pull all those documents down, but I might just leave them there for those individuals who get that information through the, through, the, through the Facebook page. Now, the Facebook page is very good for Moors to connect locally so they can kind of get in... Um, Getting unified, uh, 
positions but also but I want to stay on the website for right now because we'll be doing tutorials coming in the next week so you you're able to navigate the websites and those tutorials will be available on um, Sharon's platform YouTube once we once we actually record them on free conference call so once we're done uh, updating the um, the websites we will be um, doing a tutorial on the website but obviously go to the website consistently so you can have um, so you can learn how to navigate it because this is especially the page where all consuls with the Moorish American Consulate as well as the Moorish National Republic Federal Government needs to go to this 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 website because this is how you're going to assist Moors with declaring their nationality, doing their right to travel piece because we're going to probably upload, have a form for the travel documents. Everything is going to be accessible for the web, from the website so you don't have to send things directly to Sharon's email platform anymore. Okay? in regards to certain things unless I say yeah just send it to me in the email because we have a kind of we've been corresponding as well. all right <clears throat> so that's like the first section this the second section which is the Moorish National Republic Federal Government shows um, the leadership team the judiciary leadership team um, as well as public notifications that will be at the bottom of those per section okay per section or per a maximum territory. And then the important part will be the commission console page. As we um, compile photos for, for consuls who've actually been delegated a commission as a consul with the Moorish American Consulate, you will be, um, your their profiles will be on this page. So for instance, right now, if you go to the Consul Commission and page, and you go to, let's say, you go to Great Lakes Islam. So you would go to Great Lakes. So I'm going to go to Great Lakes and Maxim Territory, uh, Maxim Territory, which is Chicago, Illinois, Chicago, Illinois uh, Territory. If you go to that page, the two, the two individuals on that page, the first one is the one uh, that's doing a beautiful, beautiful job in uploading and updating the website, which is Isaiah uh, Amira L, Isaiah Amira L, who is the post head down there in the uh, corporate territory of uh, Chicago, corporate Chicago to territory, which is Great Lakes of Mexico. Um, <clears throat> So he has, so if you go into this page and you see the information, he has his contact information as well as his email address for Moors that are that local, that are local to where he domiciles at. So you would contact Izeal in terms of consul commission and post head and his information is here for you. And also uh, as an added bonus for you to be able to validate Moors who are with actually with the consulate um, they're going to be they're going to appear on the page but then if you go to um, the link that's going to show you their delegation of authority it's going to show you their delegation of authority that was signed by one of the vizier Mohammedan judges for Izeel Sharon Tracy Gelbay signed his delegation of authority to um, in, in regards to consulate so if you go to the page you, you click on it going to show you his delegation of authority that's signed and sealed. It's going to show you all that. This is how awesome Izeel is with the development of that website. So if you're talking to Moors that's sitting here and saying that they produce a national identification cards, saying that they do consoles and they can actually do nationality, it's, it's, it's one of those things, it's not necessarily, I don't like to use buyer, uh, buyer, bear, mm. I don't like to use buyers, bear, buyers beware but we do know that a lot of our people like to you know because they are used to what's the word I'm looking for what's the word I'm looking for they're used to no 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 like street activity what is it called huh it's not swindling it's not that hustling like they bring that hustle game to their nation <laughs> So it's like, okay, I do nationality, I can seal your documents, I, I, I produce national identification cards. Like, there's a lot of that going on. Not saying that we're not all sovereigns and we can't all complete these activities, but a lot of Moors is injuring people out there because they're ignorant. They don't know processes. They, can't, they haven't even completed processes on their own. 
And like I tell everybody, yeah, capital, capitalizing. Capitalizing on the ignorance of the majority of the Moorish American nationals. Ca capitalizing on the ignorance. That's why the Moorish American consulate is here hustling, exactly. That's why the Moorish American consulate is here, is because there's too much of hustling in our nation going on, but no actual remedy or progression going on in regards to us doing these administrative processes with these de facto's, processing the liens, processing them effectively. So if you want to help the nation, help the nation by one, being competent in your own right, and two, having classes at libraries, at uh, barber shops, have the classes, you have the, you have the room, so y'all all can get competent and united in that manner. And if someone's suggesting you to complete a process, UCC process, corporate process, that takes you back into slavery, and it, uh, here's my point, if it ain't on a grid, Buyer beware, that's all I'm gonna say. If the process is not on the grid, buyer beware. What do I mean by I say that? Any application you fill out for the service corporation is a debt bond, any and all of them. And when you sign them, you're signing off your sovereignty. Don't matter what you think, don't matter how you feel, it don't matter if you feel like this is a, an avenue that is beneficial to you whereas though you get less uh resistance of course you're gonna get less resistance or no resistance you put yourself right back into slavery just like the prophet told you many moors wearing turbans and pheasants it's gonna put you back in slavery that's why you need to study 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 you sleepy-headed moors and don't fall into traps set intentionally by conversos dirty moors to put you back in to put you back in the hustle game right that's the reality so be, buyer beware. I'm just going to say buyer beware. And that's why the update of the Moorish American Consulate uh, set, uh, page is getting done. So you'll know who's with the consulate because they're not going to be on that damn page. <laughs> they're not going to be on that page. And everybody who's going to be on that page is going to have an actual delegation of authority from the Moorish American Consulate in the form of a consul commission and documentation signed by one of those viziers on the vizier, uh, on the vizier page of the Moorish National Republic Federal Government. So you don't have to wonder who works for the consulate, who doesn't. If they don't have a badge, if they don't have a delegation of authority from one of the Vizier Mohammedan judges of the Moorish National Republic Federal Government, and they're part of some other uh, uh, Moorish organization or Moorish government or Moorish um, society, I don't know. If they're doing that, just read, the, study, 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 you sleepy-headed Moors. And the way you study is by getting your grid done. You get your grid done, you're going to gain erudite lessons and degrees. You get your grid done, you're going to be demonstrating, you're going to be active, and because you're active, you're going to start to see the picture Sharon is painting for you of the realities of the world. You're going to start seeing that. But you can't see it if you're not being active. Because the reality is that Albion is here to... What's the word I'm looking for? The Albion is here to challenge you. And if we're in the battle, which is not a battle, but a battle, and we're playing chess, it's about who knows more. If the Moors are incompetent to the point where they can't even articulate what they want, then the Albion is just going to move you off the chessboard. Do you understand what I'm saying? They bait you in conversations, which is why you speak the mantra and you speak the mantra only. Their job is to get you off your square, off the chessboard, by making you feel uncomfortable, by attacking your root chakras, by giving you fear, miseducation for animals, so they can move you off the board. So the pawn, and it's the pawn, because they are pawns. I got some. <laughs> yes, I do. You got them? Oh, see? I told you. Well, I had them too. I know I have them though. Islam. So, here's the thing. When you go to a battle, because every time you go, to a battle, not a battle, 
a Battel. Somebody look up the etymology on Battel. B A T T E L. B A T T E L. When you go to a Battel, know that every tribunal event that you go to, you're going to by uh, being by uh, being induced one to fraud, two to decoy, the decoy. The decoy is the letter, the unlawful mail fraud they send to you. That's the decoy. So they send you the mail fraud. And you sit here and you don't read it because you're not interpreting anything. So you're not reading it. You're looking at it. And because you don't have the erudite degrees and lessons, you have miseducation given to property. You read, you sitting here and you're looking. And all you're looking for is your so-called name. Because you don't even realize it's not even, it's not even talking to you. So you fell for the decoy. You fell for the decoy. You've identified it. You've assimilated that responsibility by just thinking that it was you. So in this, so then, so then you go and you ha and you make your special appearances. Most of you do that without even putting a rebuttal in, because when we think about going to the tribunal, you're going to the bank. The bank is telling you you owe something. The bank is telling you you owe something. They were never talking to you. But you've assumed the debt because you went because of the decoy. So the bank is saying, look, you owe us this. And if you don't pay us this, we're going to, under threat to rest coercion, we're going to do all of these things to you. Even though they were never talking to you. And Moors, if you were in your higher self, meaning if you knew who you were and you had erudite lessons and degrees, you would know, oh, they're trying to say I, pay, I owe them something. I have to send a writ of discovery to sit here and challenge their claim. Because they're trying to go to the bank to liquidate a bond that they're placing upon you or attempting to place upon you because you answered the invitation to contract. Even though under contract law, don't even exist. So the first thing you're supposed to do is A020, right? Affidavit 20, which is the writ of discovery, uh, affidavit of fact, writ of discovery. When anybody's trying to claim something against you, they have to they have to fill out an affidavit of fact. That this is and and, and and their so called affidavits of fact, well first of all, they're not affidavits. So their invitations you're taking and you're not rebutting it with a affidavit of fact stating I am Sharon Tracy Galbay, Moorish American National, Impropio Persona, Su Juris, Impropio Solo, Impropio Heredis at all times and at all points in time. I'm a descendant of the great pharaohs of Kemet and the Moabites and the Canaanites. I am the law, I am the government, and I command you state your name, nationality, for the record, on the record, without further comment. You don't have jurisdiction over me, and I demand you state your name, I, I demand you set me free, return my property, cease and desist all actions against me, as this is my notice of intent to lean you, if you do not do as commanded and set me free. Notice the agent, notice the principal, notice the principal, notice the agent. No United States citizens has jurisdiction over any Moorish American national because no, there's no such thing as a United States citizens. That exists on paper because it's a corporation that you've been answering to fraudulently based on education and not erudite lessons and degrees. That's all that's going on here. Nothing more is going on here. So stop answering to the fraud. Stop inducing yourself to fraud because you don't have erudite lessons and degrees Islam so you sit here and just like I said you you say that uh, this came in the mail and I know this wasn't intended to me because I'm a Morsh American national and everything on this dot this fraudulent instrument is wrong so because you in error sent this to me I'm singing it back to you along with a lien this affidavit of fact Challenging your your jurisdiction, so I'm going to give you affidavit uh, uh affidavit number 2021 20, as well. Quo warranto, averment of jurisdiction, quo warranto, and the lien. And what else? And then you're going to take all those documents that you signed, sealed, and you're going to walk your little butt down to that that tribunal that's claiming to be a court. And you're going to say, look, I need you to file this with this fictitious case because these individuals are trying to liquidate a bond. And trying to use me to in, induce me to fraud to sign off on it, so they can li so they can go to bank and did so they can go to bank and get the funds. So the affidavit of fact, the quote warranto, the lien being filed is letting them know, nope, you ain't getting nothing, you ain't you ain't putting this bond on me. 
You ain't liquid, you ain't going to the bank liquidating this debt bond and holding me as surety for it because this is they're not even talking about me. Islam? That's part of the Moorish American consulate grid. That's under tier what? Four. Because tier one is nationality. Tier two is uh, your trust. Tier three is travel. Tier four is the human trafficking that's been going on under the, the guise of city, city, counties, townships, and municipalities. City, township, counties, and municipalities were ne are these corporations that they have been putting on our landmass using us as the surety for it because we had to sign off on we are the ones that created the credit for them to be able to even establish those fraudulent corporations and holding you to pay the debt for them so they can continue to do business that's only one avenue of what they're doing that's only one little one prophet know what you ali said if i told you everything you go back to sleep yes he did say that so degrees of knowledge you have to get in stages because if you were to get it all downloaded, you would you probably would, would would start glitching in I cannot compute because it's so much information and it's so much things that we have been adhesing fraud to us unlawfully because of our education and the fact that we never got erudite lessons and uh, degrees. Islam? So, what did I say? So when we go into these so-called tribunals and we sit here and want to sit here, well, USC Code says, well, they was talking about commerce. You said you just said it a second ago, you ain't commerce. So why are you talking about commerce? Why are you even here? Because we, we called a corporation to come and you came, so are you that corporation? And that's why the mantra is so important, so you can, stat, you can state for the, for the record who you are. So they can't attach the bond for you and keep holding you unlawfully. So we have to stand on the mantra, and if you don't, if you don't, if you don't think it works, it works. It does not work for you because you are the one putting the spell in. So if you think your liens don't work, you don't work. So if you sit here saying this don't work, that don't work, no, the individual that's wielding it doesn't work. All these processes work. More y'all are just ignorant, many of you, and you're not willing to you're you're not willing to admit the fact that you need to study, study, study. And I know you hate hearing that because in the beginning of my studies, I hate hearing people tell me I need to study, study, study. I ain't like it. So I study, study, study. And every time I turned around, I was reading. And I was and I was in 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 this uh um disconnected brain frequency and patterns were reconnecting and reestablishing, just like Taj says. They're reestablishing. They're not gonna reestablish with no activity. They're not gonna reestablish when you sit here and because you have fears, you go ahead and re 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 put yourself back into slavery. Because you because you tired of fighting, well, tell your babies you're tired of that. Don't tell me you're tired of it. If you're gonna go back into what? If you're gonna go back into slavery, go by yourself. But don't be don't be inducing other people because you know that they're not quite studied. And the, and then you shouldn't be moving or demonstrating at any level of competency if you're incompetent. Meaning, get you might want to sit at that sit in those uh, plantations for a year or two or three or four until you gain knowledge on how to start moving yourself outside of it. But don't, as soon as you declare and proclaim your nationality, start sitting here trying to stand on, on knowledge you don't have yet. That's injurious. So the prophet said what? I gave you everything to save a nation. We got everything we need to save our nation. But you gotta start with self. The way the nation is saved by each and every one getting involved in their government and being a part of their building of their empire and us all coming and uniting together, not causing schisms, not causing negativity, none of that, doing what we're supposed to do to unite each other. So if you're gonna sit here and talk about things don't work, you, this ain't for you. And it's okay, it really is. If this ain't for you right now because you ain't using the you using the light, if the light don't get used, what happens? It goes out. If you're not active, you're passive, and passivity comes with things come with that. 
you start blaming everybody else. You start getting people who are just as negative and low vibrating as you, and y'all start having a pity party and a, and a party where y'all just talking about each other. And y'all wasting all this time and all this energy talking and not doing. Moors, I'm not letting any of you deceive another generation of children. I'm not letting your ignorance, your fears, your karma, which is manifesting in your ignorance and your fears, stifle this nation because it's going to move with or without you. It's already moving. It's already at the finish line. The Prophet Noble Juwali said, y'all going to love me when I'm gone. Y'all going to forget about me. And when you do find out about me, you're going to love me so much. Yes, you are. Because Prophet Noble Juwali knew when the time frame that he was here, he knew. What? Who's that? He knew the information he bought was going to save a nation. And he knew it wasn't going to save that generation. He knew it was going to take four generations before they realized what really happened and, and realized what they really received. Wait, that's the first. going to take a minute for you to realize that and here's the part who is supposed to be the holder of your record that's open to the floor who is responsible to be the holders of your records moors sovereigns who's supposed to hold them who's supposed to have them Who's supposed to be able to produce them at any moment in any time? Who is supposed to have that? I'm going to wait for a comment. No, you ain't going to worry about it now. Fatima said self. Right. We are supposed to be the holders of our own records. We are supposed to put everything on... Exactly, you. We are supposed to put everything on the public record. The public record is whatever record you decide to put it on. We're supposed to be able to issue our own records. Like for your trusts and let's say, let's take, let me, let me make a name or a trust title. Let's say the Moroccan Trust. So it's going to be the Moroccan. Let's just say the Moroccan Rose Trust. So let's say one of you titled your trust, the Moroccan Rose Trust. Everything you're doing is going to be conveyed into that trust. All property, both real and unreal, or corporeal and incorporeal, meaning tangible and non-tangible, okay? What's a tangible corporeal asset property? What is tangible? What is a tangible property? Give me... This is kind of going to be dialogue where we kind of interact. What is a tangible asset property you have? What's tangible? Because we want to talk about what property you can touch and what property you have, but you cannot touch. Because you because it because it's not in solid form. So what are two examples of those? <laughs> Anybody got it? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Give me an example of something, a property that is tangible and a property that is intangible. Meaning one you can touch, one you can't. You got two sec 30 seconds to give me an answer. Conveyance. So a corporeal is conveyance. So let's say travel conveyance, to be more specific. A computer, public stock. What's public stock? Clarify. What is that? Signature. Why'd you just bring the other? Autograph. Signature. Yeah, signature. A computer. Okay. So I got two examples of something that is tangible. Crypto. No, crypto is actually not a, not a, not a, uh, 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 mm. cryptocurrency doesn't exist unless you can validate what is backing it with an actual tangible asset. 
So something that is not tangible. What is an intangible asset? I know this is a hard one. Land and knowledge. Hmm. Knowledge is intangible. It is. Because without it, you, you can't hold on to nothing. <laughs> So we're going, to use, we're going to stick with knowledge, okay? We'll do an intangible asset, something you can't touch but you benefit from. We'll do knowledge. We'll do that. All right. We'll do that. We'll use that. Okay. Now, for a conveyance, when you create a document for your trust, I'm, I'm helping you more so you don't have to wait for uh, record numbers from the consulate before you can start processing your documents because you don't need us to do anything. We record to place on public record of the Morris American Consulate. And then, we then we assign an actual record number for that placement. But you can have record numbers for your documents within your trust that are specific to your trust. So we already are talking about the example of the Moroccan Rose Trust. I wish I had my board. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. So let's let's try it this way. I like four alpha characters, nine numer numerical uh, numeral. What am I talking about? Numbers. Numbers. All right. So we got Rose, the Moroccan Rose Trust. So how about use this? T M R T. So you got T M R T dash r or you cannot put the r you don't have to put the r you can just do t m r t followed by nine zeros and and, and then start your numbering sequence that way one two three four five six seven eight nine so you would do t m r t for the moab moroccan Rose Trust. T M R T for the Moroccan Rose Trust. Followed by nine zeros. And obviously eight zeros followed by one. And then you add that in. So that would take the place of the record number for the travel conveyance, the record number for the travel uh, title, your birth, your birth records. Because these would be unique to your trust. This is accounting 101. Okay? So all of your documents, say you do uh, the repossession piece on uh, tier six. So say you do the repossession of property piece and you know how the original, uh, the, the initial documents, which is the, 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 writ, of, the writ of possession, the, the lien, <clears throat> the title, and the, the third document. I mean, the fourth document. I'm missing that. Huh? The writ of possession, the title, the lien, so that's three. It's one more that I'm, my brain is having a fart, actually. It's one more. It might be two liens, but I think it's one more document. I can't, oh, the cover letter. Let's say the cover letter. So those four documents would be TMRT followed by eight zeros, one, two, three, four. So there's your numbering sequences for your documents. And you're going to use that numbering sequence because you should be keeping a document recording file in your trust. So create a folder on your computer called the Moroccan Rose Trust. And the first folder in that, 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 um, that, that, the first folder in that, in that, uh, trust is going to be your record documents recording report. And you're going to list it out. It's going to have your trust, it's going to have your, uh, record number, the dates that you created and established those documents, um, the name, the title of those documents, and any additional information you feel necessary to have. So you keep track and you're the holders of your own records. You have track of your own records. And then when you record them with the consulate, you'll have a record number for their recording and a date. This is accounting bookkeeping because you're going to be keeping, having to keep track of a lot of things because like I, like the Prophet Noble Juwali said, Morris, you're just flat out wealthy. And you're gonna have to learn how to keep track of that. But if you wanna sit here and hire, an outside independent contractual organization to assist you with these things there's risks that are involved with that okay that's how a lot of hypothecation happens is because people are incompetent and completing different processes and they don't know how to do things
I'm telling you how to do things. Oh, yeah. Get a grid. You know, everybody has access to Google Grid where they can just in tier one, like you know, it's a, a, a cell grid. And you're going to keep track of your documents. And there's many of you already doing that and don't even have to be told to do that. That's how you, you, you start doing your documents. And then when you record them with the consulate, we give you a record number for that recording. And it appears on the. It appears on the. Um, it appears on the uh, website, and then you can link it back to your documents. Is that? <laughs> they always know where I'm at. Funny to believe me, they always know where I'm at. Y'all better find something else to do. Y'all better really find something else to do. Y'all so funny. Y'all so funny. How about you go fill out your subject paper before you get deported? You sit here and worry about where I'm, what I'm doing. Because Sharon is fine. Absolutely fine. It's fine, huh? Nobody worth mentioning. We only talk about people with nobility, not people who are uh, unlawful, illegal immigrants. Okay. Um, what else? So that's how you're going to keep track of your records. You're going to create a numbering system based on the, a, the title of your trust, and you're going to give it some type of sequence of numbers. Leave a lot of room because you'll be doing a lot of documents. That's why nine is good whole numerical number to use. You'll never run out of numbers. If you start with three, you only got 999 numbers sequences to do. <laughs> so use nine. So, so did I put that one to bed? So let's say yes or my Yeshurun Moabite uh, Moorish estate. I would use that. And I'm going to start doing that. And then recording them with the consulate. So you'll see. So I'm going to use those numbers and probably give all my documents those numbers. And then you and then use them going forward. Um, so you'll kind of see how to keep track of your own records because you're supposed to be your the holder of your own documents and you want these individuals who know they've been leaned and who knows as soon as you lean them, they start everybody starts um maturing all of their debt so if they have a, a house the, the, the house getting foreclosed on if they have a conveyance and, it, and they have a t uh, um a so-called uh, uh loan on it that they start repossessing as soon as that lien goes out there they start uh, re uh taking those properties back from there from them because they know darn well they're not the first party uh the first secured party because the first secured party is the abortion american national doing the lien so they're uh, they're going and, and confiscating all that property before the liens mature where they will be boxed out of that you understand what i'm saying all right so be the holder of your own records Keep them in a set, a safe place. Load them onto your script accounts. Have your own independent recording. Record them in multiple places. Put them in a safe. Go get one of those fire safes in your home and start recording them there. But you're going to get so much done. You're going to be doing so much. You're going to actually have to make a library in your home. But always uh, um, upload them to an independent recording. And the website is the very mo is the very most beneficial. And if you go to the website and you go to the public records page, if you go to the website and you go to the public records page, let's go to our website, website, website. Today's the 27th or 8th? Is it 27th? So you go to the website and you go to the public records page. This is where everybody's going to be able to uh, be to be able to upload their own. Uh, documents to re be recorded on the public website so when you send notifications out to these um, individuals who you're putting your claims through all of these fraudulent um, organizations um, you're going to uh, send them to the website to the public notice so you're not going to send 50 pages to them in the mail you're going to send them an intro page and you're going to tell them with the, this is the importance of the document number Go see document number on public notice page under Northeast and Maxim uh, MACN page. So then they're going to go to the public records because they're going to have to go here. Just know that because you just gave them a command and they have to listen to you because they're going to start not getting their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches until they remedy the liens that have been placed on them. 
So when you go to the public records page, you're going to see this. You're going to see this when you go to the public records page. And all of those, all of those um, sections are a maximum posts, right? A maximum territories. So the first one is Asia Nor. You got Central, Mid Atlantic, Oregon, Southeast, a maximum, Southeast, a maximum, Yamasi, uh, Khalifa, China, uh, Southeast, a maximum, North Florida Republic. You got Thailand, you got Maryland, you got Canaan land, Northeast, Amexum, which is where people would go. So, um, and then you got North, New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island, West, um, West Coast, Amexum, Great Lakes, and Indonesia. And it's growing every day. So always check this website. So when you click on North Amexum, once you click on, when they click on North, North Amexum, because you just sent them a cover letter or notification of lien or notification of repossession, and you're going to list out the documents that they are required and commanded to print out and uh, rebut within those three business days or those three days. And they're broken up in sections. So the four set, four or five seconds sections that are broken up, and you just click the section, and you're going to jump down to that section. It's going to be birth records is the first section, nationality, uh, declarations. So we're going to eventually, I don't know if we're going to do the whole nationality packet because we want to do the cover letter of nationality with the record number, name declaration, judicial proclamation, proclamation, and then a photo, a photo or, or a copy of your nationality identification card. I like fact sheets, fact, uh, fact sheet of nationality, which will just have a simple uh, nationality link to a document. I'm not sure, but it's, but it, this is a great idea to do it this way, whereas your whole document is there. So then you would go to the nationality tab. And now, and I started this process with my tribe. I started this process with my tribe because like I said, I would never tell you to do something I did myself. That's why when you look on Sharon's page, a lot of her stuff is already there because this is how I, I um, analyze. This is how I strategize. This is how I do administrative processes by doing them for myself because the prophet said, what? I gave you everything to save a nation. Now save yourself. Oh, yeah, so okay. you should be. Really? I'm sorry. It's on. <laughs> so now you got to save yourself, right? So the first thing you should be doing is saving yourself, not sitting here having classes and you ain't did nothing for yourself yet. How you doing that? All right? So save yourself, get, get your grid started at least, at least get the first three tiers done before you start, you know, wanting to do nationality for other people. Get a little competent in it, okay? So if you go down to name declarations and proclamations, which was the second tab on the public notification page, you're gonna see the, na the nationality and it has the record numbers. The first, num the first numbers is your MAC number. And this is going to be how all of the agencies, corpor co corporation companies validate no. you yours. This is how it's going to value. All these people all of a sudden sending me, um, sending me text messages. Y'all just love me. No. All my haters love me so much because they always talking. They always talking to me. Just do your status correction paperwork. Your, your ipso juris subject status paperwork. So you have a reason to be on our, this land. Okay? So for instance, if you look at Sharon Tracy Del Bay, you'll see, that's not my number. You messed my number up, Izeal. That's not my number. <laughs> we'll fix that later. But when you, you click on it, when you click on it, it's going to automatically download. Well, it, depending on what type of device you have, it's going to either download it or it's going to upload it. And then this is how you're going to validate. But like, look, there's my status. This is my name. This is my nationality right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Got it all here validated. All here validated. The last page got what? The last page is going to have your nation, a, a copy of your national identification card. That's just one. Right? So now you got, so the first tier is your birth record. So you got your, your certificate of live birth, not certificate of live birth. I'm sorry. Your birth, your elodial certificate, your elodial affidavit of live birth. Right? The next is nationality. The, the, the one after that is land. Is the land repossession, land titles, I think it is. The land, the repossession statements. The, the next one after that is land titles. Then you got declaration of sovereign martial audio trust. So your trusts will be there. Right now we have four trusts that have been uploaded to those those pages. Then we have pu uh, just the public records with, with a multitude of documents with their corresponding MAC, doc, MAC record numbers in the beginning. And then we have the lien section. 
So those individuals who are going to that website because they got notification of lien and the notification of lien is going to have uh, the record number for the lien, you're just going to go down and look for your lien. Be like, mm, Sharon just leaned my ass and I'm a little mad about it. Let me go see it. But more importantly, guess who's going to go to this website to check on you? They, a lot of people are going to see, can I do business with this company? Let me see if, I, if, if, the, if it makes sense to buy shares in this corporation company claiming to be a claiming to be a government let me see oh wait a minute Th let me look let me look hmm i can't i can't do any business with the riverport um the delaware riverport authority because they just gotta smack the nine million dollar lien on their butts so i ain't going to invest in that corporation the credit rating for that corporation just went from a if it had an a rating down to d insolvent do y'all get what I'm saying? I hope y'all do. And Isaiah did a great, is doing a fantastic job with the website. It's fantastic. I navigate it every day. I go in there to do some um, analytics all the time. And this is how everything is there. Everything is there. The affidavit, <clears throat> the affidavit of... Uh, the binder for newly nationalized moors, I think, I believe it's on the, uh, I'm going to not believe I'm going to know by going. It's on the first, it's on the second tab, which is the Moors National Republic Federal Government. I believe it's on that tab, or it's on a grid tab. So let me go check, just to be accurate. So I know exactly what is, is that I'm saying. I don't know if it's on this tab. It should, I should probably put it on this tab because I want it on this tab. But we might just create another tab or another link to a page called Erudite Lessons. It might be a page called the Erudite Lessons and Degrees uh, to start the Moorish Erudite Ministry. So the Moorish Erudite Ministry, we might have a subsequent page called that where a lot of the um, education, not educational, the Erudite Lessons will start to be on like the 101s, like the 108s for council commissioning. Uh, let me write this down because these are great ideas that I didn't manifest until just thinking about it. And we might put the console commissioning one on the console commissioning page. No, I like the Erudite lessons, all of it, on the same page. Um, so I like that on the same page. So we got the 101s, the 108s. The um, we have a lot of lesson books. So we, I, I'm, I want, okay. Uh, what was another one that I was thinking of? I forgot what it was, y'all. I forgot what it was. Oh, the binder, newly nationalized. And Isaiah, I hope you're on this platform because I'm getting all these downloads and I hope you're writing these down too. <laughs> so we can create a Erudite, uh, Moorish Erudite ministry page. And my, my goal is to uh, have Abdullah Talib Mosley Bey assist with uh, some of the lessons like etymology training um, and different things like that. Maybe we'll have links to uh, different websites for um, starting to give the erudite lessons for the children. But keep in mind, your assignment this week was memorizing or knowing the mantra. Which was what? What was the mantra? The mantra was the Moorish American Affirmation of Nationality. The Moorish American Affirmation of Nationality. That was the mantra, okay? That was the mantra. If they were, you wouldn't be talking to me if they were. I know somebody paying you to send me text messages. I know somebody paying you to send me text messages, whoever you are. And I know you're probably sitting in a corner in a, in, a, in, a, um, in a trailer somewhere off Route 66 or 44 eating peanut butter. Because you don't have any bread to eat it with anymore. I know. Anyway. So we're probably gonna have start that page for Morris to start to gain knowledge. I had let me tell you, I've already started several. I already started several. What do you call it? I started several binders. That's just one. I've started binders on on law. 
I've started binders on um, astrology. I've started binders on a lot of things and I'm going to start moving some of that information over to the Moorish Erudite Ministry page. I don't know how it's going to be drafted. Right now we're just going to put a lot of the information there for Moors to start getting their degrees in terms of their erudite lessons okay so that's coming to that page shortly i'm going to uh, probably start talking to the uh, developer of the website to to add another page for the erudite ministry um and then we'll also have the one for herbal um what was that one i can't remember the name of it that title it was the um Moorish healing ministry unless you guys come up with better titles for some of our um our, um, <laughs> oh goodness, Albion's. Now you wonder why you're getting kicked off the land, because y'all don't know how to act. Don't know how to act. Alright, give me a minute. Give me five seconds. I gotta choose some house cleaning. I gotta do some house cleaning. Port space. Alright. I forgot what was that number. Damn. Oh, a little bit, I think. Back in the day. Give me one second. Just doing some house cleaning. Mm -hmm. seven, seven, two, six. And then we want to put a uh, four. Yes. Because this one individual is just loving me so much, they don't want to stop texting me. <clears throat> That's all that clean, clean you're hearing. That's somebody I just reported to spam. All right. I need to record that. Give me a second. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Where am I at, y'all? Where was we at? Oh, look. Ooh. All right. So, where was we? Where was we at? All right. So, we talked about... Uh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So we're talking about the importance of getting your grid done because in order to live allodially off your estate, you're going to, as well as because of the, 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 because of the command of the gold standard, because the command of the gold standard and fiat no longer being a medium of exchange on any uh, land mass, you're going to have to make these changes because there's going to become a time where that, just like the Prophet Noble Jolie said, you're going to pass a, a Federal Reserve note on the, on the land and you're not going to pick it up because you're not going to be able to use it. That's already coming here. It's already here. A lot of the shipping and a lot of the international trade has halted. That's why, that's why they're trying to act like they found uh, so-called drugs on these, um, these shipping freights and these different things in these ports is because they can't move anything. Federal Reserve notes are not being accepted anywhere off this landmass. And in, in, into reality, it's only being, being temporarily accepted right now through the transition. Right? I was like, so that's the whole importance Whoa. of the gold standard. Not only is it the <laughs> I will if you give me your name. If you, I command you to give me your name, nationality, for the record on the record. Because all all non gears are getting lean. No matter if you're Asiatic or I'll be on, because you ain't white. That doesn't exist for an Albion and a foreign alien. And that doesn't exist for you. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something. I was saying something. Anyway. 
I was trying to pick up on what I put down. Okay, so the importance of your grid is because you have to kill all of these corporate contracts. Because with the insolvency of the service corporation and all of these corporations, guess what happens? The, the, the effect, the, 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 the reciprocal effect is that all of the corporations will start to lose funding. Now, as they lose funding, they call in debt so they can, so they can balance their books. So how are, what are some of the ways that they call in debt that's going to affect everybody who is under a nom de guerre? Because as a nom de guerre, you're a ward under their jurisdiction already. So because you're a ward, you're only sharecropping the property that you think you own. So, and the way they do these things is, say Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has been leaned a multitude of times. Wells Fargo had been leaned a multitude of times. They're insulting, right? So right now, in order to at least stay afloat, they will try to move property. The way they try to move property is through um, foreclosures. So all of a sudden, you know, places that you've been faithfully making your donuses with your gifts, that you're not paying anything, you're just giving the donuses because Federal Reserve Notes is a debt. It is a debt note, so it's not paying anything off. It's just giving you the false, uh, the false paradigm thinking that you're paying something so you can continue to do the things that they tell you to do and act in a capacity in the uh, jurisdiction that they want you to act in. Because just like this individual said, the people believe we're the so-called state of this. So you're giving your sovereignty away because you're not doing anything with it. Completion of the grid is going to give you the, the tools, the erudite lessons and degrees in order to live alone off your estate as the sovereign and you will stop transferring your sovereignty and assuming the b debt bond system that they've placed on you because you've got education and not erudite lessons. You understand what I'm saying? So completion of the grid and learn, getting your erudite lessons is going to show you more how to function in a de jure, allodial, sovereign capacity. Because when we are there, harmony will exist. Everybody will be living and behaving in a lawful capacity where love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice can actually coexist with you. But those things can't exist in a fraudulent, false, false matrix that's tricking you into believing whatever lie they want to tell you. And using TV no. and music as a way to um, keep you in that blind uh, obedience. So you'll continue to align yourselves with individuals not a part of your nativity. You'll continue to uh, ask for um, assistance through these co these applications that are debt bonds. Whereas though you're actually signing off or giving somebody your sovereignty because you don't want to act in your allodial capacity. So everything you fill out and this cert to, to these corporations is debt bondage. From going to the hospital and filling out their form, from going to uh, welfare and filling out their form, uh, going any uh, anywhere, but, but always realize these corporations were established based on you. And they've created a corporate process in order to get you to transact in that fraudulent nom de gear to assume so you can assume the debt that they have and you can continue to support their infrastructure while they're denying you access to the resources they only have and can utilize based on what you gave what sovereignty you willed it to them through the completion of the documents that's social security that's when you have your babies in the hospital when you go to the hospital and have your babies and they come in there and say, well, you need to fill out a social security and a birth certificate because how are you going to get, this, get the resources and the services that we have here to provide for you to help you in raising and making sure your baby grows healthy and strong? So those are ways they'll sit here and try to be like, well, these are state. And then they'll say, well, based on the state of Pennsylvania, you are required to fill out these forms before we can allow you to leave the hospital with the baby. 
They ain't gonna call it your baby because they know it's not your baby. Because when you came in there, you signed under the nom de gear. When you signed their documents because you were under threat to rescue her, not only threat to rescue her, you was in pain. You was in labor pains. You was in labor pains. Islam? So you're in labor pains, you're going through all of these things. And um they're they're under threat of coercion, uh, uh, attempting to get you to sign off on all of these things. But keep this in mind: before you have your child, make sure you align yourself allodially under your your vine and fig tree by declaring and proclaiming your nationality, and then doing the birthing plan. We're gonna have that on the website too. That's gonna be under the ministry, uh, the Moorish uh, healing ministry. That's gonna be under the Moorish healing in, um, ministry when we start developing that. So Moors that already know how to do these things come in and, and support your government and giving us a lot of that information so, because we're working on it already. But Sharon is all is in like 20 different spots right now. Just know that I'm all over different uh, ministries because they have to be established and they have to be started. Because we're we're get, we're already at living a loadily through your estate through a lot of the commands that we're giving and and Albion's they're mad, they're mad, they woke up. You woke up. They already woke. They already know you mourn. But they mad that you woke up. That's why they keep sending me text messages. They keep sending me text messages because they mad that they can no longer eat off of you. Now they can't sit here and compete in a, a, a platform that they know damn well wasn't leveled because they unleveled it. <laughs> they made it appear to be leveled. They made you believe the lie that they told you that... All you have to do is do these X, X, Y, and Z, and you can be, uh, you can have the white picket fence. Well, the white picket fence ain't meant for you. Not under that paradigm, because their fence was only put up and established no. off of you. It was off of you. And you're believing the lie that they're government, and they speak on behalf of you. They don't. And they know this. That's why they support the mercenaries because those mercenaries help them put put um, food on their plates. They're all complicit. Don't think that your neighbors don't know that they're eating off of you. And this is the rub. They're, they wouldn't even exist or be able to have these luxury homes that they're having and squatting in if you weren't ignorant. And you can live literally, you can domicile literally right next door and they don't want you domiciling there. Not because they feel better than you because they know absolutely they're not, but because they know they're eating off of you and they don't want to see the see and, and interact with you knowing they're violating you every day. No. All, their whole entire infrastructure is based on debt, human trafficking, bondage, slavery. They just created all of this mysticism to fake you into believing that that wasn't the reality when it really absolutely was. Through the fake education system, through the entertainment system, through every converso, dirty more that they um, employ in order to deceive you. So they put your own in the front line. And, they'll, and those individuals will sell their babies, have sell their babies out for uh, a couple of gold pieces. But they ain't getting no gold pieces. They only getting Federal Reserve notes, Monopoly, not money. That's the rub. Because when you go to a majority of these organizations, and now they're trying to throw all y'all, 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 y'all pawns, which are Negro, uh, more un unconscious Moors, into the, the the driver's seat, so they can while they walking out with the so-called bag of money behind you, they done left the building holding all the Asiatics that that, that have been educated and don't have erudite lessons, and you sitting in here telling that individual, this is the law. And they're looking at, well, the policy that they just gave me say this. What you talking about? I'm going to lose my job if I don't follow this policy. Well, you're going to lose more than your JLB if you don't follow the law. You're going to lose way more than that. Islam? So what am I saying? What am I saying? I'm saying, boys, we got a lot of work to do. And bickering amongst each other is not one of them. Everybody's getting vetted for um, bloodline because because people with 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 weird energy. There's usually a reason. There's real bloodline reasons your energy is out of frequency. 
there really is a reason for that. Everybody's going to give pictures of their mothers and their grandmothers so we can validate bloodlines. And if your mother and your grandmother doesn't validate it for us, we got to go to great grandmother. And if the great grandmother doesn't validate it, we're going to have to put you in subject status until you can validate your bloodline. And don't get mad at us. Get mad at the freak, the fact that you can't, you don't know who you are. And if you don't have a national, you can't prove your nationality, then you, by by the very definition, you are a more subject it's so juror. Can't prove nationality. More subject. It's um. You're just automatically a more subject if you can't prove nationality or you don't have a nationality to speak of. For those individuals who who, who say they can't, they don't have a picture of their mother, they don't have a picture of their grandmother, they don't know where they come from. Well, you're a more subject. It's so juror. We got to move you out. We got to move you to the proper classification because sovereignty is made for is is for the heirs and it's non-transferable and we can't give you a title you don't have. That's called honoring your ancestry. And you shouldn't be gang warring with the nobles who, who are in honor because you don't fit that bloodline. That's not on us. That's on where you come from. But why do you hate where you come from? Because for a good 150 years, didn't nobody want to be melanated. Nobody wanted to look like me. Everybody was trying to bleach their skin, uh, date the, 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 the lightest person that they could find so they could, so they could start lightening their tribe so that because they got tired of being subjugated they got tired of watching tv that showed you an asiatic individual uh who didn't look really well who didn't look really good so you got so you allow social media and um entertainment to make you feel ugly you allow them to paint the picture that you're ugly so every man or woman that you chose you chose because you were trying to lighten up your tribe so now a lot of you lighten up your tribe so much that we don't even know what no that's not you gotta be in pendant status you gotta we gotta be in pendant status and don't get mad at us that's not what we did y'all gotta deal with your own karma man don't try to put it on nobody else it's yours to deal with i gotta deal with my karma you gotta deal with your karma everybody gotta deal with their own karma how about this do more light than darkness do more light than darkness do more light than darkness and you will even out your karma and now a lot of horrible things ain't gonna happen to you because you're not being a horrible person <laughs> yeah everybody trying to look dark you got the you got the ambiance taking melanin pills to 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 darken their skin so they can appear to look like us but y'all don't understand frequency come with that frequency and energy also comes with that frequency energy and asiatics actually look asiatic and we actually fell for the okie doke we did because we'll sit here and look at a person who just has a little bit of brown skin and be like that person is not an asiatic i don't care what how dark their skin is they ain't an asiatic because the energy is already telling you it's a freak it's a frequency glitch Y'all frequency, y'all ain't on the same frequency. And if y'all not on the same frequency, there's reasons for that. And you can validate that. Only Moors should be getting, should be giving erudite lessons to Moors. Everybody get under their own vine and fig tree. This ain't no, this ain't hate or separation. This is love, honor, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. How you gonna say you love when you're not even being honest as to who you are? And I shouldn't have to ask you who you are. You should also, you should be willingly and openly to tell me. This deception crap is gone. Just like women wearing these long long weaves, all this makeup. I got makeup on too. All this stuff trying to hide who they really look like. And then when you go and have fun and you love and all that other stuff and you see them in the morning and you be like, what the heck is that right there? That's deception. But at the same time, sons, you shouldn't be falling for the okie doke on the site. Because what is the seven senses? The seven deadly sins. The seven deadly sins is what? Post them. What are the seven deadly sins? Yeah, trying to, look, trying to look it. But let me tell you, blood don't lie. Frequency don't lie. Energy don't lie. You can just ignore those. <laughs> you can just ignore those. But Asiax is doing that too. Asiax, you know, that's what I be hearing anyway. But I don't believe tell a lie vision. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe with with somebody who has been lying to us our whole entire life for several generations. You think I'm going to believe what they say now? Believe the lie? Nope, I'm going to know the truth. I ain't going to believe the lie. 
I want to know the truth while doing my research. And go, don't get it twisted, Morris. In the beginning of doing research, you be sitting here like, in the beginning of doing research, you be sitting here like this. First, you get through a paragraph, right? You be reading a paragraph and you be like this. Don't lay down, read. Don't lay down. Sit at, sit at, sit at your, uh, Sit at your computer. Sit, sit at your dining room table with the lights on. <laughs> it's hurry. <laughs> but over time, it's going to be easier for y'all. Y'all just doing an activity that y'all not accustomed to doing, so you gotta exercise the muscle. Gotta exercise. Then you'll have more energy to read. And stop sitting here working yourself to death. You'll never pay off all of those fucking fraudulent bills because they'll create more for you to keep doing it. As, as, as they keep hiring the bar that you gotta jump. And they're going to keep hiring it so you can't jump over it. You just got to be like, I got to clear nationality because I can't jump that high. <laughs> so stop trying to jump. Envy, wrath, sloth, it's taste, touch, sight. What's the other one, y'all? Five. What's the other one? Y'all going to make me look it up because y'all ain't giving it to me. Vanity is sight, right? Greed is food, right? Something like that. Let me, let me look it up. Seven. Seven senses. I think it's the seven senses. I think that's what it is. Alright, here it is. Let me write it down. So the first one is sight. The second one is smell. The third one is taste. The fourth one is hearing. The fifth one is touch. There's there's two more that I don't know. Six and seven. They're saying that's to Bueller, that's the Bueller, which I gotta do a little research on, and pro proception, pro perception. I gotta do that one too. Pro perception. So you got sight. We fall for the we fall for the sight ones, which you know the. I ain't even gonna say these Hollywood Hollywood names, but these people in Hollywood because they look pleasing on the eyes. And now we, you, because we've been programmed to want to look for, because you know, y'all go through phases of types of people you like. So one moment you might like somebody who's, who's, who's brown skin like me. The next moment you might like a, a light bright. Then the next moment you might like an Albion. And then the next moment you might like somebody with blonde hair. And then the next moment you might like somebody with red hair. Like y'all go wherever Hollywood sends y'all. So because y'all go wherever, wherever Hollywood sends y'all, y'all like sight. The senses. But those are being, y'all getting a false matrix because y'all doing based on Hollywood, based on what you see, based on people like Beyonce and different things like that. So you're trying to make yourself look a way. So this is how, this is part of that sin. And then we got smell. Smells is a sin too. Because now you're messing with the nose. You're messing with the nose so you can't, so the nose is being uh, intercepted. Well, all those perfumes and stuff like that. So now the natural, the natural smells of people is messing with your frequency. So some people, you would smell them and know to stay away from them because of their smell. But because you can't smell because of all of those smells that are messing with you. Because some people have a smell that is so horrendous, you wouldn't even talk to them. But because they put cologne on and they wash like four times a day. But when, you, when, when that mysticism is gone, when you're probably living or domiciling in the same um, living quarters, now you got those smells and you're dealing with those all the time. But because your smell receptors have been disrupted, you don't even know. So your smells are off. Because let me tell you, as I get, as I increase in frequency, I smell certain individuals automatic, and I get away because it's really funky. Other people be like, I don't smell it. I'm like, how y'all smell that? Is that mm? Prophet said, when they start loading them on those freighters, you're gonna smell them a mile away. It's gonna get that bad. Taste. Mmm. A lot of us fall for that one. I ain't gonna go too deep with it. Hearing, music sounds, disruption sounds. I love music. I love music. I listen to a lot of uh, meditation and frequency vibrational hurts now, when especially when I need to balance my energies. But I love music. 
I love music and music. Some of the music is spelling you to do certain things and certain certain activities. How you sit here, go to the club and you dancing, right? You go to the club and you dancing, and all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, you want to sit here and start having intercourse <laughs> because you dancing. You don't even like. You don't even know this person, and you don't even know who they are. Y'all ain't even met frequency wise or intellectually wise, but the 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 music got you wanting to just have 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 relations. The touch want you to go go to the touch one. So the so the hearing and the, and the music got you, right? And then you wake up in the, in the AM in somebody's domicile and you like, I shouldn't have done that. Well, we're here, so I mean I don't know what to tell you. We're here. And then you got six and seven, which I got to do a little bit more research on, so I'll hold those for next class. So the point that I'm trying to make is that. We need to increase our frequency so we can handle the divide the, the, the high vibrations coming on the land. So you gotta get into your astrological chart. You gotta be looking at the, the, the phases of the moon. Because the phases of the moon once the, the phases of the moon gonna change. The phases of the moons is going like ooh, when you have those um, full moons, the next three days after the full moons, everybody going crazy. Everybody's ad got attitudes. Everybody's acting crazy. People who have sexual um, uh, touching uh, fetishes now they want to sleep with everybody. Uh, people who have smelling like all of these things, all of the, the sins that you have are going to be in heightened. So you got to realize that. So once that full moon's here, if you haven't been manifesting anything, being active, y'all gonna feel it, and y'all gonna be trying to gang over Sharon, and Sharon gonna be like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Sherry gonna be doing. Be like, look, I know your frequency all the way up here. Mine is chilling because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. To keep that level increase. Every full moon's gonna get worse and worse. So y'all know it's gonna get worse for y'all that are not doing anything. For us people who are doing things, you have to start running. You have to start walking. You have to start exercising the body. I go to the to the gym. I'm, not, I'm sorry. I go to the tracks all the time. I walk all the time because my energy. I can't handle. I can't handle it. So I can't handle. It. I know you can't handle it. I can't handle it. I know you can't handle it. Cause there's a lot of energy coming on the planet. And that energy, when it comes on the planet, guess what's going to happen? People are killing themselves because they can't handle that frequency. That frequency, you better increase your frequency, whether you more or whether you Asiatic or Albion, more or European, whatever your classification. You need to be increasing your frequency in a positive way. What are some of the ways we can do that? Declare and proclaim your nationality. Getting on the website, doing start starting your process for, for subject status paperwork. It's about harmony. It's about everybody getting under their own vine and fig tree. And we live in and their love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Well, we're right here. I don't know what to tell you. Um, Tahir. here. Somebody's saying that they're here. I don't know where he's at. He said he's here. He's from PA. I don't know where he is. Yeah, I don't know where he is. We're near the playground. We're near the play. I'm here near. I I was near this water. He said I was near. That's really. You really gonna give us just? I was near this water. Really? How are we supposed? There's water everywhere. Land is the park is huge. He says the park is huge. Give us a milestone. Give us a landmark. Give us something. We're over by the playground. It's the only playground in here. I don't know what to say. Just ride around. Cross the street from the water tower. I don't know what to tell you about it outside there. It is a huge park, but it ain't got nothing on Fairmark. Fairmark. Sixth and Park Avenue. Sixth and Park, Park Avenue. I don't tell people. People you run up. Hey, Sharon, I'm mad at you. You didn't. You didn't do my trust. I ain't get a record number. I'd be like, boy, I'm gonna stab you with this pen. The website is so I ain't gotta do all y'all. I can stop getting all these emails and these phone calls, and you can do your work and stop sitting here trying to make excuses on why you ain't doing sharing ain't answer the phone. And you know I needed to ask her where. I need to ask her a question. No, you don't need to ask me a question. We're going to get that erudite, erudite ministry page up there so you ain't got to ask me a question. Because every time y'all ask me a question, guess what? Sharon's brain starts to tinkering. And she be like, oh, I got to put that on the webpage. 
So all those things that's appearing on that's appearing on the web page is because Oh look at my munchkin. Hi cutie. You gonna act like you don't know me? Really? Hi. Hi. Hey. You have a copy in You came here with one thing and now you look completely different. What? What's going on? It was hot? Yeah. It's cool today. So did we say enough tonight? Me too. I have to run. Yes, you got to run. Man, let me tell you about the energy. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> so, any questions? We'll send the last couple of minutes because it's getting dark out here. I don't even know how long we've been on this platform. But it's getting dark. Yeah, I don't want to put you on the web. I don't want you on the World Wide Web. You're not getting on the World Wide Web. <laughs> Remember I used to use that word, World Wide Web? The World Wide Web. <laughs> Where you at? Oh, my gosh. Why when y'all get lost, y'all can't? I don't know what to tell you. He said he says he's in the park. Tahir has his fez on. Is it? I don't know. What kind? What color is your conveyance? There you go. That's him. No, it ain't. That's a who do? Who said that? <laughs> he owes a. He's a. He owes one Federal Reserve note. You got to give it to Fatima. Maybe that's the conveyance right there. Is that you? How he get mad at us? Like, I put the mailing location. That's not him. He probably. This is not a big freaking park. You do not remember me. I gave you cake and a half. Well, would you? He said silver. That might have been him. Was that silver? Yeah. Was your music playing really, really loud? Was you playing Jamaican music? Was that Jamaican music? Is that him right there? You got me. You said breathe. You breathe. I'm not. I am not. Well, where are you? I think he's playing with us, y'all. I think he's playing with us at this. You mad? Oh, you're not mad? Well, where are you at? This park ain't that big. It ain't nowhere near Fairmont Park. And we right by the by the benches. Right by the benches. He passed the park here. I'm done with. I'm done with you, man. I'm done with you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell him. What's the geographical, what's the latitude, longitude, where we at? <laughs> it probably won't even tell you. Because it's such a. Tell him he has to turn down 6th Street. Yeah, I'm going to stay live till he show up so he can say hi, y'all. Talking all that smack, talking all that jazz. Oh, I was listening to something. What was that? Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Guess what came back on? I don't even want to tell you. Anybody watching? Mm. You said it out loud? I like that show. Only get reason. Grid done. Don't watch power. I know, I, right? Power and your grid you, you can only watch power after you get a after you get something done in your grid. Then you can watch. So power only comes on once a week. So every week you gotta get one tier of your grid done before you watch power. <laughs> there ain't nothing else on TV. Ain't really nothing on TV to watch. I like power because they so crazy. They so cray cray. When you watch that show, you just see how dysfunction they are and how a lot of our people have mapped their whole lives of, of beyond, uh, around power and that behavior. Like I know people who act like desperate housewives. They really have assimilated these shows in their actual lives. I'm serious. I am not even lying. You be sitting there be like, you really think you on Desperate Housewives of Atlantis? I be like, can you just love your love yourself? Let me tell you, mothers, y'all so y'all so used to doing for everybody else. When you start really coming into your power and start demanding and commanding your consorts do and act a certain way, y'all gonna sit here and be like, I don't even know what I like to do, cause I don't ever do nothing for myself. I had that epiphany a while back. I said. You know, you sit here, but like, go to the mall. You go, you be like, I don't like doing none of these things. What am I going to end up doing? He still ain't here. He still ain't here. Okay. We're getting off this live. We're not waiting for him to get here. 
Do y'all have any questions? Nobody has a question? Really? Y'all just like seeing my beautiful face, don't y'all? Netflix shows are great. <laughs> yeah, they are good. Netflix shows is really good. <laughs> I was watching um, Strange Things. Have y'all watched Strange Things? My sister had me watching Strange Things. Actually, the first season I watched, and then the second season, my son had me watching Strange Things. He's like, Mom, this show good. I'm like, Man, I ain't watching no damn Strange Things. And then, you know, it was so, it was so cool because it kind of reminded me of how children used to have actual lives before a ro they really realized they was a person. Like, they had childhoods. Stranger Things, those children had childhood. It reminded me of me and my sister, my my twin who you know you know who my twin is at this point um and we had such a we had such a childhood it was awesome so that show brought back those thoughts about yes yeah, you watch stranger things it's a great show since we you know we just sitting here chilling i ain't really i'm done i'm done i'm just chilling with y'all right now at this point it was really good it was really did you see my family photos yes i saw exact no they're not family they tried tried photos be safe have a good night islam you be safe have a good night sexy Hey. Got her sexy picture. It's a sexy picture. You should see the picture. Y'all better watch with the energy y'all be describing. Dead end this way. He said he's at a dead end. Is there a dead end somewhere? That's the only dead end. Right That's the only dead end over there. Tell me to turn around. Turn around and come back up. It, it look, that might be him right there. You see the children playing on the on the swings and stuff. Y'all almost messed up. I heard you. You had to stop yourself for five seconds. I didn't. He well, he he's traveling very slowly. Who was that? Who was that? Right here, was that you? All that activity. So how about more? Wait a minute. Y'all know y'all assignment is the mantra on Sunday. So on Sunday when we do our live Sunday, eleven people. You'll have to. Uh, come up, you'll have to pop up. So you know how you'll have to pop up? You, you know how to do that. And you'll sit here and be like, I'm ready to do the mantra. And you gotta say the mantra at least one time with no interruptions, no issues. And if you do it as a tribe, that'd be great too. Like have your whole tribe with you and y'all all do the mantra. So what's the mantra? We'll close out by doing the mantra. What's the mantra? Y'all wanna do it? We are Huh? And I posted the mantra. Yes, we are the Moorish American Nationals. We are improper person, sujuris, improprio solo, improprio horrendous at all times and at all points in time. We are the great, um, we are the descendants of the great pharaohs of Kemet and the Moabites and the Canaanites. We are the law. We are the government, and we command you state your name, nationality, for the record on the record without further comment. You do not have jurisdiction over any more American national, and we command you state your name, nationality, for the record on the record. Or wait a minute, I messed it up. See, because I put we and all that other stuff. We command you set us free, because you don't have jurisdiction over. Let me start all over. Is my copy I'm gonna do it in the first person. How about that? I am. Sharon Tracy Galbay, Morris American National, Impropria Persona, Sue Juris, Impropria Solo, Impropria Horrendous at all times and at all points in time. I am a descendant of the great pharaohs of Kemet and the Moabites and the Canaanites. I am the law, I am the government, and I command you state your name, nationality, for the record, on the record, without any further comment. You do not have jurisdiction over me, and I command you set me free, return my property, cease and desist all actions against me, as this is my notice of intent to lean you if you do not do as commanded and set me free. No United States citizens has, has jurisdiction over any Morsh American national as they exist only on paper, as they are a corporation and not a people. Notice the agent, notice the principal, notice the principal, notice the agent. So mode it be, so mode it be, so mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Islam, Islam, Islam. Islam, um, Islam. Islam. So Pax said to more peace and love. Hopefully he's made it. Has he made it, chat? Oh, he playing games. He playing games. He ain't here. He ain't, don't be trying to act like he. Call me on my phone. Call me on my phone. Pack that tomorrow. Y'all have a great evening. Happy Tuesday, which is the day of Mars, day of magic. Um, and check your frequency.
Get your grids done. Pack something more. And check the website, www.morishamericanconsulate.org. Peace and love.